It probably doesn't surprise you that as an adoptive mom, one of my favorite passages in scripture is in Psalm 68, where it says, Father of the fatherless and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in a home. One translation says, he sets the orphans in families. And so you can imagine, I love that passage as an adoptive mom to a seven-year-old from Haiti, but y'all, I didn't used to love that passage. As a matter of fact, that passage used to be like salt in my wounds, because even though I didn't grow up as a quintessential orphan, I grew up in a divorced home. My father left us when I was five years old. And I thought, like many kids who go through a divorce, I thought if only I had been sweeter or kinder, or maybe use my inside voice more, dad wouldn't have left. And then my mother remarried my stepfather two years after my dad left. And I so hoped he would be a daddy who loved me well. And he was not at all the daddy I hoped for. So even though I came to know Jesus when I was a kid, even though I was always in church, even though I ended up going into vocational ministry and even seminary, there was a corner of my heart that always felt like an orphan. I definitely felt fatherless, even though the promises of God are that He never leaves us, never forsakes us. It really wasn't until midlife for me that I began to believe that promise. I think it's so sweet that God took a woman like me who knows God's word, but felt like an orphan and allowed me to become a single mom to a little girl who so many people would call an orphan, but my kid is not an orphan. My seven-year-old is convinced that God is absolutely besotted with her. She told me the other day that Jesus was talking about her and that Jesus said, I love that Missy. How sweet, how redemptive of our Heavenly Father, they took a woman who felt like an orphan and allowed me to parent this little one that many would call an orphan, but she's not. She is a beloved child of the Most High King, and so are you.